There we go. Just messed this up, didn't I? No, no. It's April Fool's Day. It's it's bound to happen. Um, I did I'm that working. Purpose. Well, so so here's the thing. Brandon, here's the deal. I uh, I set up my live. I I followed your instructions to the T. I had my uh, I had my little um uh that thing that huh? that you have. I had that. And um and then uh I was like all set and ready to go and then I thought, "Oh, wait a minute. So how does how does this work? Does Brandon join me or do I join Brandon?" And so that's yeah. that's what happened. Did we agree? I, so I think that uh, Tessa would be the one to tell to tell us whether or not we uh, if if I I think I'm I think I misunderstood the assignment. I, my, yeah. <laughs> I know Alexis, yeah, TikTok dislikes me and me and lives. I look so short now. How come I um like you? It's like you're my teacher. <laughs> Uh, there you go. There you go. That's yeah, good. I'll bring this down here. I was given very specific instructions on how to uh, do my TikTok. So thank you to Brandon, <laughs> by the way, for giving me the uh, uh, the uh, correct instructions on how to how to set up my camera. Um, because apparently people don't like looking up my nose, and I I thought that's what we were going for is the up the nose looks, but um, but that didn't that wasn't the way that it was supposed to go apparently. So. Hey, mom. Sorry, my mom's on here. Hi, hi, Mrs. Davis. She's uh, she's pretty cool. Like, actually, so your whole family is pretty cool. Maybe we should maybe we should tell the story of <laughs> of how we came to be together, not together, sure. together, but together. Um, uh, I uh, so okay. So let's go back to the start. Okay, so you know that we have the um uh we know that you know that we're hosting a uh audiobook convention dark star 24 august in uh, i know mandy just bear with me just stay with me. The, so the positive is that like i only have one glass of whiskey today so there's only so much trouble i can get into um yes story time means drink blanca yes but um so uh, so we uh, we have dark star 24 going on and people are signing up and we have like specific um, requirements for, you know, if you want to be a signing author or a signing narrator, you have to have like a certain number of books under your belt. Well, this per and, and Brandon, I'm going to get to the point of this story because I don't know if I told you about this or not, but you are you are a major part of this announcement. OK. Um, so we announced our star 24 we have certain requirements for uh, signing authors and narrators we just want to make sure that all the people who are signing are going to you, you know have lots of traffic at their at their table they're going to be signing lots of books they're going to uh you know they're going to have as rewarding experience as um as everybody else so um Brandon, I don't know how many books you had under your belt at the time uh, that you were that you were asking to sign up, but it wasn't very many. And yet, so there were there were two people that really displayed this interest in a real genuine interest in in attending Dark Star Twenty Four, and I was, um, uh, you know, I was I was watching these videos that you were putting together, uh, so. First, I saw I saw the videos coming um, from um, uh, Don Darling and Cassandra Aston, and there were these two authors, and I hadn't read their books, uh, but I think they only had a couple of books between them, and I was like, well, you know, I can't, you know, I just don't want to set anybody up for for disappointment. Well. They kept, you know, doing the, uh, you know, doing these videos. Well, at the same time, this narrator starts popping up in my feed and I start seeing uh, this narrator, Brandon, saying, hey, Troy, I want to attend and I, I want you to get to know me. And I think that, um, you know, I think that you would really enjoy having me as a signing narrator at at the convention. Well, earlier on, I could not ignore you or uh, Don Darling or 
Cassandra Aston because you were so, you know, uh, so cool in the way that you were doing your thing. And so I reached out and at first I tried to discourage you, right? Yeah. yeah and, you did. and so let me, so let me tell you why I was trying to discourage you. And it has everything to do with what I'm about to, well, what we're about to, uh, to unveil. So it's really kind of like, it's, it's, uh, kismet, it's serendipity, uh, that we are ending up working together. So, so Brandon is saying, I want to join, I want to join, I want to join. That's when the kernel of the idea for what we're about to talk about came from. And so I had this idea. I said, this is what I want to do. So I reached out to Brandon and I said, listen, are you sure you really sure you want to do this? And I gave her all the reasons why it wouldn't be a good idea for her to, uh, to sign at dark star 24. Um, and yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know if I offered you a ticket or something like that to go as an, as, as an attendee, but I remember you had said, I really want to go. I want to be a signing narrator and I promise you, I will have more books under my belt when, you know, when we get there. So I, I was really, you know, it, 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 well, you can't say no to Brandon. It's, I said, okay. So I said, are you sure? Cause I've got some other stuff in mind that you might be interested in. And so. Um, she said, Nope, I want to be a signing narrator at dark star. So, um, time goes by. I, I say, yes, let's do this. As a matter of fact, it was your birthday, right? In, uh, in November of last year. And, um, so I thought, and I think you put a post together. You're like, Troy, it's my birthday. How can you say no to me on my birthday? <laughs> so, um, so I had to say yes. And I said, yes, please, you know, please come. And, and then we talked on the phone and you were really excited. And, and like the, one of the coolest parts about the whole thing was that your husband called me or he didn't call. He, he sent me an email just to say, Hey, I want to thank you for like, you know, making my wife's day. And, um, that meant a lot to me. So if you, if you ever want to get like, if you want to be like, uh, as as a I don't know if Alexis is still in here, but um, Alexis, uh, we're in, in this last book that we were doing for um, uh, the Pucking Wrong Date. Um, it's uh, Circle of Trust, right? If you ever want to get in my Circle of Trust, you know, show the world like how much you love your wife and um, and like what you know how how devoted you are, and that's like that's a guaranteed a guaranteed thing for me. So it really meant a lot. You know, they'd like, you know, it's really cool that, um, you know, people are, you know, like their spouses are, are like there for them. So anyway, <clears throat> TikTok time goes, time goes by. Brandon reaches out to me and says, Troy, listen, no pressure, but if you ever need help with, uh, this dark star convention, let me know. I've got experience. I would love to help you. So I'm like, okay, da, 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 da. time is, time goes by and like, Planning a convention is one of the hardest things like I have ever done in my entire life. And I've given birth. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't given birth, but, but, um, but I've like, you know, I've had, I've had really bad colds. So I know exactly. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, right? <laughs> right. But so it's, I mean, it's really hard. And so I finally, I, you know, as I was thinking about it, I thought, man, Brandon really is cool. And like, I got a, I got a, you know, I did like some background research on you and that you were, you know, you really have a great resume. So I reached out to Brandon and we ended up, she agreed to work with me. I don't know. You're probably regretting it now, but, but, uh, it's, uh, you know, I mean, you got to admit though, it's a whirlwind, isn't it? It's like, it's like stepping into a, into a whirlwind jacuzzi. <laughs> um, the thing is, I've done stuff like this where it's like you step into a world of chaos and it feels like a hurricane around you. Um, and that's part of why I loved being a paramedic is that the chaos, you never know what to expect. It just constantly something different. And I feel like I really thrive in that. So for me, it was like, oh, oh, I'm excited about this. This is great. And so I just kind of stepped in and yeah, here we are. But this is like just as just as hard as being a paramedic, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> no, I, I get it. But, but it is, you know, it is really cool. And the thing is that, so I have, um, I have this, uh, this, this team around me now that is just amazing, you know, between you and Terry and, uh, Nat 
and uh, and Kimbra is helping me out as well with uh, these amazing graphics and things like that. I feel like I've got this crack team. So I so we bring Brandon on board, and I tell Brandon, okay, so here's our first big um, our first big thing, um, and that's what we're gonna what we're gonna talk about next, and. Uh, at that point in time, Brandon said, are you sure that I can't just quit and, and, and do this myself? Because Brandon was the inspiration for this whole idea, right? Um, Dark Star, so Dark Star 24 is, is uh, the, the whole reason that I'm doing it. And, and the reason that, uh, that I'll never regret doing it, you know, as, as difficult as it is, um, I love the mission of Dark Star 24. We want to show the world what's next in, uh, in the world of audiobooks. And uh, you know, we've got the novella that, uh, that we're performing live. This is, a, um, this is a novella that's written by J.T. Geisinger. And it's uh, performed, we have three of our performers nailed down, right? Uh, uh, Tara Langella and Lucas Webley, our co-stars, and the storyteller for the novella is Sebastian York. And so that's cool. The, the, uh, the novella is going to be performed live in front of a, a live audience with sound effects, Foley effects, music, the works in, in, in an immersive, in an uh, immersive environment. And, um, I, as a matter of fact, I might like one if there's like a rainy scene, I run around the tables and I spritz people with water. So it's it's going to be really cool. But um, so the novella is really cool. And um, that's an example of what's next in the world of audiobooks, right? Um, so a big part of what's next in audiobooks is more who's next in the world of audiobooks. And that's where you came in, Brandon. Um, you know, when I, when I started doing audiobooks, it was just like, I mean, there was, there were a couple of like forums on Facebook where, you know, narrators could get, get together and, and talk about, uh, you know, Hey, I do this and I do this. And, and, uh, you know, we would argue about, you know, what the best way to edit your audiobooks is and stuff like that. And so I was really popular in there because I'm, I might, some people have heard that I'm a little opinionated, but, um, but anyway, so it was pretty much everybody was on their own trying to figure out how to, you know, to, to, to get audiobook work. And at that point in time, like, you know, when I, when I started doing it, generally speaking, hi, Sheena, if you, if you didn't live in Los Angeles or New York or San Francisco or Chicago, you were not going to read audiobooks because you had to go into a professional studio and, uh, you know, get hired by a casting director. And it was, a, it was a big thing. And, and like all of, you know, all of the audiobooks were commissioned by Random House, Penguin Audio, you know, the, the big, you know, the big ones. Uh, and so, when I started in, in, you know, Audible had their, you know, their subsidiary called uh, ACX, that was basically like the only way that you could get the word out about, you know, hey, I like to do audiobooks. And so there was like all there, it was like eBay for, for audiobooks. And, but there was nobody out there who, to, to really give guidance to anybody to say, yeah, you know, here's how you do an audition. Or here's the uh, you know, here's best practices for getting your name out and stuff like that. So we were all on our own, and it really was kind of the wild, wild west of um, you know of of chasing this dream. Well, as time goes by, and uh, you know, new media comes out, including TikTok, uh, you started to see narrators uh, getting to you know to at least get exposure. You know, like Angelina Rocca, she she was uh, really good about, uh, you know, just doing lives and reading, you know, reading stories live. And people just like became addicted to watching Angelina Rocca do her stories. And I don't know how you do it, Ange Angelina, if you're still in, in oh, here. I, she goes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you do it, 
But, you know, Angelina will sit there and she'll like, da 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 She'll read her book and she's like just this amazing actress. And she, she like reads through her book and then she'll go, oh, I don't like the way that I did that. And so she'll go back and she'll start to, um, you know, she'll she'll uh, start, you know, getting ready to, to, to re-record. And then she'll like look at her screen and she'll say, you know, oh, oh, hi, Brandon, how are you? Yeah, how's everything going? And, you know, and like, she'll like know who you are and what you're doing and does the same thing. Troy, what's going on? How's that book of yours coming? And, <laughs> and, um, and then she just like, without missing a beat, she'll like start recording again. And it's just like, perfect. So I really admire that. But um, as, as we went along, I realized that, you know, the people don't really have, uh, you know, they, they still don't have the guidance necessarily to, you know, to break out into the, uh, you know, into the next level. And there are some cool things going on, like, Brandon, you belong to um, Narration Station, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So so that's really cool, I think, you know, where a lot of narrators get together and they, you know, they go through, uh, you know, they read scripts together and, and things like that. It's really nice. It's like a, it's a support group. But one of the things that I wish there was more of is people in positions to, uh, you know, to offer, uh, to offer advice from experience. And so here's my idea. Uh, and of course, you know about it. So you don't have to act surprised. Brandon, Brandon's in on it, guys. But uh, so that's what made me think of this. The next Dark Star. And the next Dark Star is a competition. And the competition is we're, we're looking for the next generation of great audiobook narrators. And so what we want to do is we want all of your... Um, I don't know why Ty Williams just said shit wrong account. <laughs> Sorry, this this is not my only fans, Tyler. I uh, I that's that's a whole other thing. But uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? If people were like looking for old. If you if you found if if I had an only fans and you found it, you would be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be uh, probably not you know not the best ego booster for for old Troy. So here's the idea. It's, I mean, it's, and it's nothing, you know, it's nothing like super original. It's like X Factor or American Idol or something like that. But we're looking for the next generation of narrators. And we want everybody who's interested in being a narrator to enter this competition, right? And um, the next Dark Star is, you know, is going to put you in front of the audiobook community where they can watch you compete to win a uh, well to win a, to win some pretty cool things right so Brandon why don't I, I, I'm I'm going to stop talking for a little bit okay because I happen to talk a lot but you can why don't you break down the the mechanics of of the next dark star okay so what's going to be happening is we want everyone to submit a video so what we're going to do after this is we're going to have a link to the website and that's where you can sign up and from there it gives you some guidance about what we want you to do in your first video which is just kind of tell us about you like why why do you want to be the next dark star like what what is your why what excites you about narrating or the potential of narrating and also what is something you're really looking forward to doing in new orleans because if you get to the finals, that's that's where it's taking place at. So what's something other than the convention that you're really looking forward to? And we just want to get to know you a little bit. Um, we do want to see some of your skills. We want to make sure that you sound you have a professional sound to you. So you, you're not doing it off of your and I'm sorry, guys, you're not doing it off of your AirPods or um, the little plug in ones that go to your iPhone. Just even having like a basic mic that you can find at Walmart is helpful so something to that extent um we can and help you, you out on that too huh well when we when we talk about the prizes then yeah, yeah. yeah we, we'll be able to help you out well go ahead i'm sorry don't, don't spend like 500 Tell on a mic right now that's yeah. that's not even right so what we're going to do is we'll narrow it down to the top 20 and then from there it'll just be similar to a competition where it gets narrowed down with each challenge and each challenge will be something different um to really help uh, mentor those skills. And so you'll get to work with other professionals that can guide you and give you advice and help you. And, um, which is really cool. And I, 
when I first started, I wish I would have had that. That would have been really helpful because you don't always know what you don't know. And people will put themselves out there as coaches and you might spend $500 and not get much out of it. Whereas these people are vetted. Clearly, we all know them. They've been around for a long time. They know what they're talking about. So you know you're going to get the best in that. Um, and Raven, real quick, um, I saw what you said down there. And here's the thing. I have people at home that tune me out all day long. And yet I have people to pay to hear me talk. So take that as you will. Um, I know. Isn't that funny? My <laughs> wife, she, yeah, like people <laughs> People say, oh, man, what would, it, what would it be be like to be your wife? And my wife is like, you have no fucking idea <laughs> because I don't, I don't stop talking. And uh, yeah, so we're like, we're old hat. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's the thing. Um, oh, one of the, you know, like win or lose. I think the, you know, the, the beautiful thing about this is that, um, you know, this is an, it's an experience that, uh, that I never had, you know, to having, having somebody who, you know, of, of the caliber of the people that we have in mentor positions, um, having somebody like that to, uh, you know, to help the, the contestants is going to be fantastic. But as you watch along, if you're a narrator, this is a great opportunity for you too, because you can, you know, you can learn too from the, you know, from the, the, these uh, mentor sessions as we, as they get us through the challenges. Right. And I see a lot of people asking right now, um, what are the parameters? What are the rules? So do you want me to go over that or do you want to go over that? Yeah, you, you, you do the rules and I'll do like, and I'll tell people what they, what they're going to win if they, okay. if they win. How's that? Sounds good. Okay. So, so first that's rule, my fun part. <laughs> you have to be um, 18 or older. Um, sorry to any minors. Um, no narration experience is needed though. So if you've never narrated before, that's okay. That doesn't mean that you're not the next big voice to come out of this. So no experience necessary. Um, you have to have 20 books or less as of today that are published. So if you have, for example, let's say you've got 10 out there on Audible and you've got 10 that are in post-production. Well, if they're not on Audible as of today, then you're, you're good. Do that. So what we do, here's, here's how we'll do it. When you enter, the first thing we're going to check is okay well we're going to look at you and you know uh make sure you know make sure you give us your pen name too we'll look at you and then we're going to go to audible and see how many books do you have and uh if you've got less than 20 you're you know you're in so if you have 19 get do it right away because like if all of a sudden they have like two more then uh then you're not so yeah less than 20 okay i'm sorry go ahead oh no you're good um you'll be participating in challenges. So you've got to be able to commit to that. Um, challenges are going to start around beginning of May, if I remember correctly, um, and end around early, mid June, no, July. Well, the, wow, Jeez. The first challenge is going to be, I think the, uh, like, um, and I might be, I might be talking out of my butt. Um, it's going to be, I think the first challenge starts on the 14th, right? Right, you need to have your videos submitted by the 14th. And when I say submitted, um, so you have to have a TikTok account because yes, you can post on Instagram, everything else, but we are able to view you on TikTok. So we want you to do it on your TikTok account. It obviously, it has to be public so that we can see it. Um, that That's a big part of it. And then from there, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. So so I, I think so. The 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 due date on getting your videos in so that we can curate them is going to be the fourteenth. But <clears throat> so yeah, we won't have the uh, we won't have the first challenge right away. We'll have um, uh, that's when we you know we get them and we're going to we're going to narrow them down to the ones that we feel are the most the most uh, you know rock and roll ready, right? Yeah. And so, so then we'll have, um, then, then we'll, you know, we'll do like one challenge and, um, it'll be something like really easy, like, you know, juggle fire while you, uh, uh, read a Dr. Seuss book or something like that. Really easy. But, um, yeah, I don't know what the first challenge is, but after we get past the first challenge, the subsequent challenges after that are, are is where we get really serious. Mm -hmm. And that's that's when we have those rock star mentors to guide you through, to coach you on doing the um, 
the, uh, that's right, Britt. Well, you know, you do that all the time, juggle fire. But um, yeah, so open outside to, uh, open to narrators outside the US. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But we, but yeah, I mean, all you have to do, you have to be able to get, to get here to, to attend. But once you get here, okay, that, that has to do with the price. Go ahead and, and pick up where. Oh, that was um, the next thing is when you do sign up, you're agreeing to allow um, Darkstar Con to use your videos. So that way we can put them all together and then the judges can, our panels can go through and do their votes. Um, so allowing us to do that. And aside from that, being able to commit the time to your, to your coaches or your mentors. Yeah. And Zach, so uh, Zachary asked, hey, is this info going to be available after the live? And yes, it is. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll download the live. We're going to put it on YouTube so that you uh, you can uh, you can see you can watch the video again. And we have like the rules and the link to the website and the link to the uh, to the page to uh, to sign up. Right. And you, yeah, you have to commit to being uh, able to get to. Uh, New Orleans from uh, August 29th through uh, through September 1st. So can can I talk about the uh, yeah. the cool stuff? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we get through all the stuff and all you have to do is be amazing. And if you once you're amazing and you're the most amazingest, uh, here's what so we're going to we're there's a reason why we're going to have we're going to have two grand prize winners. And the reason that we're going to have two grand prize winners is because um, we're going to need two more stars to perform in the novella. So way back when we were, I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm like, now is, now is when I get to like, this is like Christmas for me. When, um, way back when, when we were talking about the novella, we were, when, uh, uh, Sebastian York and JT Geisinger and I were like, we're chatting. Oh, it, I think it was, I think, I think it was Sebastian, JT, Lucas and Tara <clears throat> and I were talking and I said, now we have most of the cast here, but we're still missing two other, two other cast members for this novella. And I'll tell you later about, you know, how we're going to pick the other two cast members. This is how we're picking the other two cast members. If you win, we have two cast members needed for this novella to star alongside Tara Langella, Lucas Webley, and Sebastian York. So you're going to perform in the live novella. Don't let that intimidate you like it would totally intimidate me. Um, don't let it intimidate you. I mean, we're looking, we're looking to get to know you better and what you bring to the, uh, what you bring to the table. So. All right. So, so it works. Yeah. So sarcasm is, is Brandon's love language. And so she uses that to, uh, uh, to make great videos. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm done. We're going to give you more information on the dark star con, um, TikTok page where you can get to, you know, we'll, we'll post it, but we'll also, it's in our link tree, the, right. uh, uh, the uh, landing page for, uh, for the next dark star. Cool. All right, guys. All and right, Charlie, guys. yes, it will be posted so you'll be able to see it. Beautiful. All right. Ciao, everybody.